Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see what is the natural response of the linear constant coefficient differential equation. I have discussed the basics in the previous video. Please go and watch that video first and then come to this video because I am going to solve a problem in this video and to understand that you have to know the basics. So let's consider this question as our today's question in this video. As I told you, to find the natural response, we have to put the initial inputs as zero and we have to consider the initial conditions. So as I told you in the previous video, these are the initial conditions which are already given in the question. So you don't have to worry about what are the initial conditions. So let's start solving this question. So first of all, what should we do? We have to write what is given to us which gives a good impression on an examiner while he is or she is evaluating the answer sheet. So this is the question and with initial conditions So these things are given to us in the question itself. So, so to find natural response or zero input response, we have to take the input things as zero. So we will only take the y parts, not the x part. And we will take this as y of n minus 1, minus 1 by 8, y of n minus 2, and this equal to zero. Because as we said, the input terms are kept as zero. And this is the output terms. So let's consider this equation as 1 and this equation as 2. So this is the second order of homogeneous equation. But this is not the general form of homogeneous equation. But the general form of homogeneous equation is y h of n is equals to lambda to the power n. Now we have to substitute this y of n in this equation. Then we will get the homogeneous equation. Now let's consider this as equation 3. So substituting equation 3 in equation 2. So now what we will do, we will substitute this in this. So y of n is lambda power n only. And now 1 by 4 is constant. Then y of n minus 1. Then it will become lambda to the power n minus 1. And again constant is constant. Then we have y of n minus 2. So we will write lambda to the power n minus 2. Now we will solve this further. We will take common the lambda parts as we took in the previous video. So we will get lambda square minus 1 by 4 lambda and then 1 by 8. And we will be remaining with 1 by 8 into 1 in the last. This is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this equation. So this is equal to 0. And if I take 8 as common so we will get here we will get 2 lambda minus 1 and this is equals to 1. And when I solve this equation, the lambda values would be 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 4. I wrote the answers directly. Please kindly solve this equation by yourself in by using your calci. So here as we can see the roots are real and also are different. That means are distinct. So as in the previous video I told you I will solve questions on different conditions. So this is the first condition that the roots are real and distinct so now how to take the homogeneous equation so this the natural response will become y h of n is equals to c1 lambda to the power n and c2 lambda 2 to the power of n plus so on cm lambda m power n for now, this is a homogeneous equation only, but after finding the C1 and lambda values, it will become the natural response of the system. So as previously, we got only two values as the root that was lambda 1 and lambda 2 as 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 4. So we took only lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now we will substitute the lambda values that was 1 by 2 and we can put minus 1 by 4 whole to the power of n. And this is the homogeneous equation. So let's consider this equation as our, how many equations have completed? Three. So let's consider this equation as our fourth equation. Now we will substitute n is equals to zero in this equation. So we will get 
y of 0 is equals to c1 to the power of 0 then c2 power 0 then anything to the power is equal to 1 so we got it as c1 plus c2 now we will substitute n is equals to 1 so we will get y of 1 is equals to c1 1 by 2 to the power 1 plus c2 minus 1 by 4 to the power 1 so we will get c1 by 2 minus c2 by 4 if i take 2 as if i take 4 as common then we will get 2 c1 minus c2 or we can also write it as 4 y of 1 is equals to c1 minus c2 now what we will do is from equation 2 the equation 2 is this equation now in this equation we will substitute n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 so the equation was y of n minus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 and minus 1 by 8 minus y of n minus 2 is equals to 0 now we will put here n is equals to 0 so we will get y of 0 minus 1 by 4 y of 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y of 0 minus minus 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 and as we have the initial values which were given to us in the equation that minus 1 y of minus 1 is equals to 0 and y of minus 2 is equals to 1 so we will substitute those things here so y of 0 minus this is 0 so entire thing will become 0 and y of minus 2 is equals to 1 so 1 by 8 into 1 is equals to 0 so finally we will get y of 0 is equals to 1 by 8 now we will substitute n is equals to 1 so so we will get y of 1 minus 1 by 4 y of 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 by 8 y of 1 minus minus 2 minus 1 is equals to 0 so now we got only given value is minus 1 by 4 and after calculation y of not y of 0 is equals to 1 by 8 so y of 1 minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 minus 1 by 8 and what was the value of y of minus 1 it was 0 so 0 and finally we will get y of 1 is equals to 4 8 are 32 1 by 32 so as we haven't gave the naming to these equations let's like give it as phi and let's give it as 6 now what we got the value of y of 0 and y of 1 we will substitute these values in these equations and we will get the value of c1 and c2 and then we will substitute those values in the equation 4 that is here so from equation 5 that we got was y0 is equals to c1 plus c2 and from equation 6 we got 4 y of 1 is equals to 2 c1 minus c2. Now we will substitute the y of 0 and y of 1 value that we got over here was 1 by 8 is equals to c1 plus c2 and here that we got 1 by 1 value was 1 by 32 then we will write 2 c1 minus c2 and now we can write it as 8 c1 plus 8 c2 and we can cancel this 4 8 za 32 and then we can write it as 1 equal to 8 2 za 16 c1 and minus 8 c2 so by solving the above equations we got c1 and c2 value so after solving both of this equation i got the c1 and c2 value as 1 by 12 and 1 by 24 now what we will do is as we got the homogeneous equation in the previous page wait i'll show you so this equation now as we got the c1 and c2 values we will substitute these values in this equation y h of now as we are substituting the values it will become the natural response so y n of n is equals to so this c1 value is 1 by 12 and uh, the lambda value is already 1 by 2 to the power of n and c2 value is 1 by 24 and this lambda 2 value is minus 1 by 4 so we will write 1 minus 1 by 4 whole to the power of n and hence this is our natural response of the given system and never forget to write for all n is greater than equal to 0 and hence now finally put it in a box Never forget to put the result of your solution in a box in the examination. This gives a very good impression on the examiner. So yeah, we have found out what is the natural response of the given system. Done. 
so that's it for this video guys if you have understood this question then don't forget to click that like button don't go away ideally without clicking that like button and subscribe to my channel because this motivates me to make more such videos and yeah thanks for watching